citizens welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Valerie so glad you guys came today because we got some fun stuff today um you've already seen the thumbnail so uh yeah it finally got here um <laughs> I've been anxiously awaiting this it was supposed to be here yesterday and it did not show up yesterday and it finally did show up today and I'm glad it showed up early enough to where I can film this and get this uh up to you guys today um, because I've been dying to get in here, um, to sniff. I want to sniff. So, these are first sniffs, guys. I have not sniffed anything. I've not even opened the box. See? Totally not open. Aren't you proud of me? Normally, I just rip them apart and I sniff, 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 and then I do my video later. But I decided I would invite you guys to join me today. And, uh, we'll sniff it. I'll sniff it with you guys, all right? So, in this box, I have the um five holiday bricks that Scentsy has uh come out with this year i also have the what's it called the open plains collection which is four bars that i've never sniffed there's another brick in here that i have sniffed before but i wanted to order it and i also have a six bar bundle in here that I can't even remember what I got in there. It's since that were in the catalog last year that I did not get a chance to sniff or smell um, that I decided I wanted to purchase. So I think there's only one thing in here, guys, that I have I've smelled before. So uh, let's dive in. I'm ready. All right, so I'm gonna put my glasses back on. Uh, my glasses may be a little, yeah, it's still a little dark, but I was just outside. I took Violet out. My Violet's my doggy, if you guys don't know. And um it has gotten cold here in Indiana. And it was like, it's like 54 out today. And uh, I think that's going to be our high. And um, I took her out. I had, threw, I had this long sleeve shirt and I threw a hoodie on over it. And um, we went out and oh my gosh, that wind is just blowing and blowing and it's cold. And it's, yeah. Um, so fall has arrived here in Indiana. And I'm glad. I like the cooler weather. I really do. So, let's dive in. I got my knife. Um, I can't wait. I have been waiting on these guys. I've been watching everybody else's videos and all that stuff, but I'm like, when's mine going to get here? And then the FedEx said it was going to be here yesterday, and so, um, no, it didn't show up yesterday. And then it was stuck in Chicago, and then, um, yeah, so I got another box, got a box within a box. Let me flip it out here on my counter. I hope I don't, yeah, make everything go flying out. Okay, so let's get that out of here. And let me flip this back over. And get my knife here. I'm excited for these uh, bricks. Um, and these bricks will be, they're the five brick hol holiday bricks. They always come out with holiday bricks. Um, and these will be, I, I got mine on early access since I am a consultant. That is one of the perks of being a consultant. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, then uh, these will be accessible to you guys. They will be released to everybody else October 16th, all right? I think that's on a Monday. Most of their releases are on Monday. So uh, check that out, October 16th. They're doing... I got those. <laughs> don't think I need this anymore because it's but it did come from Texas. So maybe that's why they put it in here. Alright, let me get that box out of the way. And let me get this out. Oh. This open. Alright, let me get everything out of here, guys. I'm so excited. I'm super, super excited. Um I love the bricks. I love bricks. I know some people do not like bricks. I absolutely love them, and I am so glad that the bricks are here. I love the, the summer bricks that they came out with. I hope they do that again this next year. And, uh, yeah, oh, this smells so good. I don't know what's in here, but it's smelling good, but it's smelling good. It feels really good. All right, guys, so... Everything out of there. Let me get rid of that. All right, so let me get this all organized here. 
find which is which. That's that. Let me get this all organized here real quick. And then we will be on our way to start the proceeding. No. <laughs> to start the fun stuff. Okay, I'm trying to get these all in order. All right, guys, so we're going to do... Um, I'm going to do the six pack first. I mean, first I'm going to show you what I got. I got some light bulbs. I got three pack of light bulbs. I wanted some, um, red ones for my 20 watt, um, warmers. So I've got, I went ahead and got, got to buy them a three pack now for five bucks. So I got three red light bulbs for my, uh, 20 watt warmers. Um, I'm just going to start randomly purchasing different color light bulbs, um, and different and regular light bulbs as well. Um, so that, um, I have them on hand for holidays and stuff because, you know, red and green kind of for Christmas is what I'm kind of thinking. But I wish I had gotten some orange ones now. Um, so I, I still need to get some other ones, but I'm going to be placing another order probably on Monday is what my plan is. All right, guys. So let's dive in. I'm going to do the six bar bundle first. And I'm going to be referring into the catalog, the scent notes, because I don't even have scent notes on these guys yet. So, um... I'll be flipping around in those. So, um, as I said, last year was my first year in, in the Sensi, and so I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And so um, I just kind of ordered quite a bit of different bars, and I just didn't couldn't order all of them and to try them out. So I decided this year I want to try some of these out that I did not get a chance to try out last year. Um, so let me see what this one is here. I don't even know where this goes. As far as uh, set notes here, let me find it here. Really? That's not under that. Oh, maybe it's under woods. Okay. This it is. Okay. So the first bar that I decided to get is cinnamon pine cones. And I'm not sure. This was sent out of the month last year, but I, I don't know. I don't think it was. I don't think it was November scent of the month. I don't remember which scent of the month it was. But if you guys know, let me know down below. Um, because that way I can mark my bar when I put my little notes on the inside of it. So, scent notes of cinnamon pine cones are... Oh my gosh. This writing is a little small. <laughs> is um, sparkling pine cones. It's the warm scent of sparkling stock pine cones. Adorns festive fir balsam branches and a classic hint of sweet cinnamon stick. Now I don't like I don't like tree notes, so maybe I won't like this. But I thought it sounded interesting. I thought I'd, I'd grab it. So um, it's got this brick red type colored wax. So let me give it a whiff. First first sniffs here. Ooh, I like that. That's I like the cinnamon in there. It's very nice cinnamon. There's like a nice sweetness to it, but not like overly sweet. Oh, and there's a freshness. I smell that balsam in there. I kind of like that. I really do like that. So when I hear there's tree notes and stuff, I normally stay away from them, but I heard so many people say this one was so good. Mm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and did I mention this is going to be a long video? If I didn't, it's probably going to be a long video, guys. Grab you a drink. Grab you a snack. Yeah, buckle down because we got the six-pack. We got two collections and then another another brick there. Mm. This is good. Yeah, I really like that. I like that. Um, I don't like just strong tree notes. And this doesn't smell like it's going to be overly strong. But I do like some tree notes when they're blended well with other things because it does give like a freshness to it. Mm, I think I'm going to like that. So that was cinnamon and pine cones, guys. Anxious to try that one. All right, let me try to find this next one. Um, I don't know where this is under... I don't know what any of these are under. 
This was a new one last year, but it's not new this year. Maybe fruit? I don't know. Let me look here. No. Oh, it's under woods too. Huh. Okay, this is Huckleberry Hideaway. I've never done any Huckleberry nothing, and I've never smelt any Huckleberries anything. So this has got fresh picked Huckleberry, Mountain Violet, and Crisp White Woods create the perfect retreat. So we'll see. And it's a pretty purple, dark purple wax. Okay, this has got a tartness to it. And I did smell this before. I'm sorry. I did. I just remembered that I did. Once I sniffed it, I had a tester and I did warm this tester in one of my spare bedrooms. And that's why I went ahead and ordered this. This this one I had never smelt before. So my, my mistake, guys. Um, I don't think there's anything else I've warmed. I don't think I did warm anything else. I'm not sure. I can't remember. There's a nice tart scent to this. And I'm assuming that's the huckleberry. You get on the bottom here and see what's I can get it out of the come out, come out, come out. This was just delivered. It's been in the house maybe 30, 40 minutes. Warming up. Yeah, there's a very tartness down. Tart. Mm. Oh, but then there's like a almost a perfumey note in there. What's in there? Huckleberry, Mountain Violet, and Crisp White Woods. Mm. I think I'm really going to like this. Now, the tester smelled pretty good, and I enjoyed it. Mm. But I wanted more of it to explore more of it. So, Huckleberry Hideaway. I think I like it. I've heard good and bad about it. So, all right. This one, guys, uh, just came back this year. Um, this is Snowberry. All right, so Snowberry has got a luscious blend of Loganberry, Strawberry, Peppermint, and Zesty Cinnamon. That sounded interesting um, because I don't know if I've ever really liked or tried berries with peppermint and cinnamon. Yeah, peppermint and cinnamon. And it's a white wax. Hmm. Oh, wow. It seems very light on top. Hmm. And I'm getting a sweet fruity scent. And I'm not really getting like cinnamon or peppermint. Let me go to the bottom of it. Oh wow, this is really different. It's I don't even know how to describe it. It has got Mm, like a creaminess to it, I think. Like a creaminess. This is going to be interesting to warm. It really is. Because I'm not like getting like peppermint straight up. I'm not getting like cinnamon straight up. Um, and there's like a fruitiness to it. But I'm not I, like, I can't differ, differentiate whether it's Loganberry or whether it's strawberry. Hmm. That's going to be really interesting, I think. So, that was Snowberry. Yeah. I'm anxious to warm that. That's very, that's very unique, I think. All right, Snowberry. All right, guys. The next one, uh, I think this one is fruity. Oh, it's not. Yes, it is right here. Okay, Black Currant and Plum. It is in the fruit category. I, this was a new one last year. I did not try it last year. And this has got scent notes of dark plum, wild black currant, and bold and sweet apple for a temptation you don't want to resist. Or you won't want to resist. Dark plum, wild black currant, and sweet apple. And this is another pretty, like, dark burgundy colored wax. Mmm. 
Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh, this is like a perfumey. Mm. This is what I smell when I walk into Bath and Body Works. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I think I'm, I should have got some of this last year. I got Blackberry Spice instead, and I think I like this one better. Now, somebody said, I think last year, a lot of people said this didn't uh, throw well. It was very light. So I hope it performs good for me here in my home. My home is a lot small. It's very small. So sometimes I can. Mm. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, that is beautiful. I smell a deepness. Mm, like a deep. I don't know where that that perfuminess is coming from, though. Mm. That's what I get. I get a beautiful perfuminess. Mm. I like that one. Oh my gosh, black currant and plum. I hope it performs because I love it. Okay, the next one I think is in the spice family. Let's see. Let's look here. Yes, spice. Autumn sunset. I think I had a tester. I may have worn this last fall. I may have worn this one last fall. Um, this has got apples, pumpkins, fall, fall leaves, and spices. And this is a top 10 fragrance. Fall leaves. Apple, pumpkins, fall leaves, and spices. And yeah, I have smelled that one. And that is a uh, eggplant color wax. Mm. Yes, this is good. Mm. You have the spicy spices in there. Mm. And I'm not really getting like, like apples coming out, but mm, it's kind of like a pumpkin spice scent. And I'm not getting like fall leaves right up the front, out the front, out the gate. Let's go to the back and see what we're doing back here. Okay, now I just got a whiff of pumpkin. Like pumpkin with the spices. And cinnamon. Oh, I think I'm really going to love this one. Mm. Yeah, I like that one. All right, so autumn sense. So far, I like it. I've liked five out of six, guys. That's pretty good on cold. All right, last but not least for my six pack of stuff that I didn't, my six pack uh, that I didn't uh, try last year, um, this one, this one was an LTO last year. I think this was um, part of the Sensepirations. Yes, this one was part of the Sensepirations. This is Candy Cane Buttercream. And it has got, let's see, a forest of peppermint candy cane and vanilla bean frosted with buttercream. Ugh, I'm getting hot now. I get hot and I get cold. This is the time of year that I don't know why I just I get hot and cold. It's got a pretty red wax. Mmm. Mm, I get a good buttercream scent. I'm not getting like tons of candy cane, but it's it seems light to me. I heard last year it was pretty light. It seems kind of light to me. Mm. But I can get that buttercream, and I'm not really getting like candy cane with it. But it's it's nice. It's just kind of lighter than I. Yeah, it's just kind of light though. So that might, I don't know, I don't know, did, did any of you guys get this last year and keep it in your club and does it age better? I mean, does it, when it ages, does it perform better? I, mean, I hope it's a good performer, I really do. All right, so that's my six pack, guys. Um, give me a second, I gotta put my hair, I am just burning up. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, I was just burning up all of a sudden. Oh, and hot flashes, man. <laughs> hot flashes and then I don't know why I just this time of year I'm either really cold or I'm really hot 
And um, I think it's because I get cold and I put warm clothes on and then it's just too much and then I get really super hot. All right, guys, so that's my six pack that I wanted um, to try out. So I think I got some, I liked all of them. I really did. Um, the only one I'm kind of concerned with is maybe candy cane buttercream. Um, I just hope it performs well for me. That one I'll probably just try in my bedroom, but I do mostly a lot of my peppermint scents in my bedroom anyway. Um, because sometimes they do get lost out here in my open concept. Even though my open concept's really not that big, but I do have a very high ceiling out here in my great room. So that that sometimes play plays a role in that. So all right, guys, let's move on to the Open Plains collection. All right, so this is a four-bar collection bundle, and it is supposed to be, um, each scent has leather in it, okay? Um, not weather leather, I don't think, but just leather. So let's start with the Under the Oak Tree is the first bar. And each one, they have cute little pictures here. This one's got... A man sitting on a horse, like right there, which is really cute. <laughs> so under the oak tree has aged woods, worn leather, and crisp apple. And it is a brown colored wax. Let's see what let's see what this is about. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. I do smell the sweetness of the apple in there. And it's a nice, the leather's soft. It's not like in-your-face leather. It's nice softness. Soft. And it does have some woods in there. Mmm. Mmm. There's an apple. Oh, my gosh. I like that. Oh, my gosh. I really like that. It's kind of, it's like fruity, but yet it's got kind of a um, woodsy note in there. Um, and then the leather comes in. I like leather scents. I really do. Um, I've even been considering trying weathered leather, um, just to get it and maybe warm it out in my garage and see what it, what it's like, what it does. Cause, uh, I've smelt it on cold, but, um, you never know what it might do on, on warm. And a lot, a lot of people are like, who, why is that? Why is it still always in the catalog? But maybe it's something good that we're missing out on. So I'm kind of tempted to try it. Sorry, girl, it's, she's edgy today. What is it, sissy? Oh, oh, really? You tell me about it. I'm trying to get this bar out, guys. This bar does not want to come out. Oh, there it goes, okay. Mmm, yes. I think apple and leather together is really wonderful scent. Mm, this is really, really good. Oh my gosh. And I think with the aged woods and the leather, and the, I think this is going to be really a good bar to age. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh. Mm. That is fantastic, guys. That's under the oak tree. Yeah, it kind of smells like you'd be laying under the oak tree. There's like some ripe apples laying out there. You got a, like a leather jacket on. It's kind of fall. Mm, that's good. <laughs> that's fantastic. Under the oak tree. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. All right, the next one is Hometown Cowboy. And there's a like a bunky... Bucky, bunky, <laughs> bucking, uh, Bronco. <laughs> Trying to think that. Okay, so this has got dark suede, aged leather, and black mahogany. Which, since he's into the mahogany this year, isn't it? And this is a lighter, um, oh, I don't, it's not caramel color. Um, it's almost like a grayish, okay? It's between a gray and a beige. So this is grayish. Hmm. Okay, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm getting like the suede and some aged leather in there. I'm not sure about the black mahogany, but I'm not real familiar. I mean, I've warmed some things with black mahogany and or mahogany in it. 
So I'm kind of still learning what it actually smells like. Sorry, I got my ears itching. I don't know why I'm having difficulty getting these out of here. But I am. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there it goes. Oh, this is pretty. This is nice. I get more of a perfumey scent out of this. Mm. That's really nice. And it smells like it might be a strong one. Kind of like maybe, I don't want to say um, ma um, masculine. I get almost a cologne note from it, though. I do. Mm. Yeah, like it's a nice, like aftershave or something that a man's just splashed on their face. That's what I'm getting. And then he's, mm, he's wearing like a black leather jacket. Mm. And he's got that good cologne or aftershave on his face. Mm. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's very cozy though. I, that's what I'm getting from it. So that is Hometown Cowboy. That is nice, too. Okay, the next one is Counting the Stars. What picture's on this? Oh, it's got... Looks like a cowboy sitting on a fence. Maybe... I don't know. Is he playing a guitar? I don't know what he's doing. If you know what he's doing, let me know. <clears throat> this is Counting the Stars Strawberry... Fresh leather, white woods. Now, a lot of people have thought that this would be like uh, pink leather because pink leather does have strawberry and a leather note in it, but they say it's not like that. And this is like a dark, deep gray, almost black, like a charcoal gray colored wax. So let's see what I think. Oh, I smell the leather right there. I smell quite a bit of leather in this one. Mm, that strawberry's coming in. Yeah, this is like I just put on a, a leather jacket. Like a new leather jacket, you know. Mm, but then there's like a fruity strawberry coming in. Mm. Yeah, I think it's different. It is different from um, pink leather. Fix the bottom. All right. Mm, wow, there's a lot of strawberry on the, in this one. Mm, I really like that. Oh, my. Yeah, very strong strawberry, and then the leather note comes in. And I'm not sure about the white woods. I'm not really sh sure about that. Mm, I like it, though. It's good. That one's good, too. So that is Counting the Stars. All right, the last one is... Wide open spaces. And this just shows the cowboy on a horse riding down, riding out in the country. And uh, the scent notes on this one is white leather, sugar cane, and cozy vanilla. And it is like a grayish blue wax color. Oh, I smell the vanilla right off the bat. I got a lot of vanilla right off the bat. Not much leather at all in this one. And I think that's maybe what they mean by white leather, that it's just white a lot of times is because it's lighter. Yeah, I smell a little bit more leather on the bottom, but not 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 like really strong. Not like in Counting the Stars. Counting the Stars, I really smell the leather. Hmm. This is a sweet vanilla and then some leather in there with it. Mm, that one's good too. Wow, I'm really impressed with these. So all four of them are really good. So, all right, let me see. Let me re let me try to rate these. Let me try to rate these.
Okay. Number four being my least favorite is White Open Spaces. It's a white leather, sugar cane, and vanilla. Mm. That's, it's good. It is good, but that's my, that'd be number four. Number three is Hometown Cowboy, which has the dark suede aged leather, black mahogany. Mm. Like the cowboy wearing a leather jacket with a good cologne on. Mm. That's number three. Number two is Counting the Stars, which has got, uh, where's it at? Da, 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 da. Oh, strawberry Fresh Leather, the White Woods. Mm, that one's really, really good. And then my number one is Under the Oak Tree, um, which is Aged Woods, Worn Leather, at Crisp Apple. Yeah, that one's good, too. Yeah, that's what, how I would rate them, but they're all really good. And I think I'm going to order another four-pack because these are fantastic. Actually, I might get a couple of these because I liked all of them. But I do want to warm them, I think, before I'm going to order any more. But on cold, I am really impressed with those. So that is the Open Plains um, four-bar bundle. And those are $20 for the, the bundle. So that's pretty good. That's $5 a bar. Um, you're saving a buck a bar by uh, purchasing them that way. I don't know if you can purchase them separate. I'm not sure. And I think they are available to put in your... I don't think you can. No, I just looked on the website. These are only... Bun they are only sold as a bundle. So, um, but you can... I think they are available. I'm thinking they're available already on the website. On my website. And they're also available to put in clubs. So, um, if you want to, like, only try a couple... Put it in, try, try to go ahead and put it in your club and see if you can purchase them that way. Okay. Before we go on to the uh, holiday bricks, I've got, I purchased another brick um, because I love this scent and I just decided I'm going to go ahead and grab it. So I went ahead and grabbed, and this is um, the one that's in the catalog. And let me get the scent notes up here. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed this brick, um, and I just paid full price for it. It is uh, Pumpkin Roll, and this is cute. It's got the pumpkins on there and um, flour, a sack of flour, like it's making, you know, like it's bakery. It's a cute, cute brick. Um, scent notes for Pumpkin Roll are uh, creamy pumpkin pie filling. Surrounded with yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. And I did have I did try this last year, and I didn't enjoy it. So, and I may get another one. I may get a couple more of these. And the wax is kind of a I don't know, like an apricot color. Mm, I smelt that this minute I opened that. Mm, yeah, this is good. It does smell like a pumpkin roll, cinnamony pumpkin roll. Hmm. I like that one. Mm -hmm. So out of the three, you can get a uh, Christmas cottage, a pumpkin roll, and a uh, very snowy spruce. And I'm not going to give it, I've not really ever warmed very, uh, very snowy spruce. I have this tester. I may go ahead and warm it and see what it's like. Mm, yeah, that's good. So I went ahead and grabbed that one too. All right. Okay, guys, let's get into the five, uh, five uh, winter holiday uh, bricks. Now, this year they are shaped differently. This is a, a normal shaped brick. And this year these are shaped like Christmas trees, <laughs> which is kind of cute. Um, they are a little less wax for the same amount of money, though. That's unfortunate. Um, so the normal... Um, yeah, the normal uh, weight, I got an air bubble there, uh, is 17 fluid ounces or 15 net weight ounces. So um, on here, this is 15.3 fluid ounces and 13 and a half net weight. So it is a little bit smaller, but that's okay. 
Now, some of these may be cracked and broken because um, they said the way they had to package them, it, they just couldn't uh, help for them to be cracked during shipping. So, um, and that's okay. I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Anyway, so let me get these in the order I have my scent notes in. And we'll go from there. All right. Now, three of these scents are brand new, and two of these are, like, returning. Um, so, the first one is Candy Apple. That's what it looks like. It's got Candy Apple up there. Okay, that's what it is. And this used to be, the old name of this was Winter Candy Apple. And uh, everybody's assuming they had to change it because uh, that's a Bath and Body Works scent um winter candy apple and i've heard some people say this is a dupe so let's get into it and try it. i've never smelled it before so this is candy apple has tart green apples sweet candy accent and let's see if i can open this yeah mine's busted at the bottom <laughs> see right there it's cracked at the bottom which that's fine It is, it is very close to winter candy apple. Yeah, it's got a nice green tart apple in there. And it is sweet. Mm, I like that. It is good. I'm not so sure that... I think winter candy apple has some cinnamon in it. But uh, the Bath and Body Works one. But I'm not smelling any like cinnamon on this one. Mm, that's good. I like that one. That's I really get the apple on that one. Big time. So that is candy apple. <laughs> I think these are so cute. They just seem really small though. I mean, may, I know there's not much of a difference, but they do seem a lot smaller than this one. And uh, yeah, so it's okay for a change, but um, maybe next year they'll you know, go back to the original package. Just put cute packaging on it. That's what I would prefer. I would prefer just have them like this, but have cute, cuter packaging on like they did for this one. Um, so anyway, um, that was Candy Apple. I liked it. I really liked that one. All right, and that one is returning. And the next one is also a returning scent, and it is Cozy Kitchen. I haven't even really looked at these. Uh, oh, this has got like an oven mitt and some cinnamon and a rolling pin. That's cute. That's cute. All right. So the scent notes on Cozy Kitchen is warm oats, brown sugar, spicy cinnamon swirl. And these have like a lip on the side and it's not on the top. So if you just grab the side of it and they open pretty good. This one's not busted. This one's okay. It is a cream colored wax. Mmm. Oh, this is right up my alley. Yeah, it is like a cinnamon. Uh, has it got cinnamon in it? Spicy cinnamon, yeah. It's got that brown sugar in there. Like a bakery note. I don't know about warm oats. I've never, I don't think I've tried any of the warm oats stuff. Mm, it's like creamy, yeah. Oh, I like that one. Mm. That's fantastic, guys. That is really, really nice. So, yeah, that is Cozy Kitchen. I will probably be getting some duplicates here. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, that's good. And it does have a, this, the, there's a kick to that cinnamon. So, we'll see what they do on warm. Okay, so the next, last three are all new scents. Uh, this one is uh, Forever Flannel. What's this guy on it? Oh, it's just got like a... Like an orange or lemon and some, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah. This has got scent notes of lavender, sandalwood, and bergamot. So, I'm anxious to try this one. A lot of people are saying this is very similar to Fluffy Fleece. It's like a um, toned down version of Fluffy Fleece and that people are really loving this one. So, it is a light blue wax. I can see where they're saying it's like kind of like fluffy fleece. 
but it is much lighter. And I almost get like a like a um like silver bells or Arctic kiss or polar bear hug. The, to me, those three are very similar. I'm always getting one of like a scent note from that. Mm. It's, it's, there's a sweetness about it that is really nice. And I'm not really getting like lavender. It's not, I'm not on cold. I really am not getting lavender. Mm. Flannel, lavender, sandalwood, and bergamot. This is different. I'm not really even. Not even really getting like sandalwood. This is blended very nicely. I like it. <laughs> I like it. It is nice, cozy. It is lighter. It is lighter than what um, fluffy fleece would be. Or um, I am getting like one of those other scents in there too. Um, like a cross between. I don't know. I can't remember which one. I just wore them Silver Bells last night, and it may be a little different than that one. So I'm kind of thinking maybe Polar Bear Hugs or Arctic Kiss. Um, I get vibes from that. So anyway, there you have it. That is Forever Flannel. I like it. Where am I at? Okay. Like, where am I at here? All right, the next new one that they brought out is called Holly Jolly Cider. And it's got the apples and apple and the cinnamon sticks up there, which is really cute. Um, this one I was kind of I'm kind of concerned with because it does have evergreen in it, and I sometimes like tree notes and sometimes I don't. Depends on how well they are blended. So I've heard a lot of people say this one sent the they smell the tree note in here it is a pretty bright red wax, and this one is not broke. Oh yeah, it is broke up here. I do smell the tree note, okay? I smell that evergreen. Mm. I'm not getting a lot of apple cider. I'm getting a lot of evergreen. And I'm not getting a lot of cinnamon out of it either. Yeah, this smells very, very holiday. I really was wishing it was just like a, uh, like a cider lane, <laughs> like an apple cider lane, but it's not. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's very tree, so it's very heavy tree for me. So, uh, it's not bad, you know, smelling it, it's not bad, but I don't know, we'll see what it does on warm, but it's probably going to be my least favorite. But I don't know, because this last one, <laughs> I don't like the orange notes. I don't like orange notes. And this is orange spice and everything nice. And this has got uh, winter orange tea, mold spices, and vanilla bean. Now, I'm not fond of oranges, but we'll see. Um, because it's more of an orange tea. I do like tea, so maybe that might... We'll see how it does. Let's see. So it's orange. Orange uh, color wax. I smell the orange right off the bat. Very orange. Just very, very orange is what I'm getting. It's more fruity, and I thought it was going to be a little bit more spicy. But I'm getting more of a fruity nut, almost like orange juice. This might be okay. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like just like a, to me, like an orange drink. And I'm not getting any, like, mold spices. The vanilla bean may be creaming it out a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure I'm getting like a tea, but I'm definitely getting orange. It's predominantly orange. It's not bad. It's not horrible. Um, 
none of them are horrible, actually. So um, that was orange spice and everything nice. All right. So there's normally one that I'm not real fond of. Um, so let me go ahead and get these in order um, to my liking. Okay, we're going to rank them. I'm going to go from number five, being my least favorite, to my most favorite. So my least favorite is Holly Jolly Cider, um, basically because of the tree note in there. I don't hate it. I am going to warm it and see how it works for me. Um, but it is my least favorite at this point because of the tree note. I just don't care for tree notes. And I'm not saying it's a bad scent. I'm just saying for me, okay? All right, the next uh, number four... Um, is orange spice and everything nice. It's just because I'm not real fond of orange. Um, that could change on warm. We'll see. It's not bad, but it's not the, like my fa most favorite either. So there's that. Okay, the next one is uh, number three is candy apple. I really do like this one. So I like that one. I like the... Uh... Yeah, I do like that one. And it does remind me of winter candy apple. So I think that's kind of why it's number three. It's because I like it, but it's been done before. Okay, not unique. And uh, I was expecting, I think, a little bit more candy apple um, rather than uh, winter candy apple. So I think there's a big difference there. All right, so then number two is forever flannel. I really like that one, guys. The only thing is, I think it's going to be really soft. It may age well, too, though. I do like that one. It's really a pretty, pretty scent. So, Forever Fall is number two. And number one, my favorite, is Cozy Kitchen. It's a bakery. I love bakery. So, yeah. Mm, yeah, that's a good bakery. Mm, I hope it warms as good as it, it smells now. So, there you have it. Those are my... Uh, picks that in order that's and so it'll be interesting to see when I do my warm reviews on these if that stays the same and I will try to remember to um I'm gonna probably write them down I'll write them down now that way I I won't forget when I go to uh do the warm reviews on these which ones and I'll do the same for the uh, wide open spaces <laughs> whatever it's called the open planes all right all right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed yourself today, and I enjoyed it, and I'm glad that I got my um, products that I was dying to get my hands on, and uh, now I'm going to start getting busy warming. So uh, stay tuned and watch for uh, the warm reviews on these guys. So um, I'm going to let you guys go, and I thank you so much once again. And if you're new um, and you like the video and you, f you enjoyed yourself, make sure you click the subscribe button before you leave. We'd love to have you join our fam. It doesn't cost you anything, and uh, yeah, so go ahead and do that. We'd love to have you, and click the notification bell so you're notified of any of my new uploaded videos, because you don't want to miss out on anything. Um, and for those of you who have done all those things, thank you very, very much. Um, and let's uh, give me the like. Give me the like, guys. And let's comment down below. Um, are you guys planning on picking up any of the holiday bricks from Scentsy this year? Um, and if so, which ones? Or do you want to get all of them? Now, I'm going to tell you that they are doing them a little differently this year. Last year, I think they did like two. You could buy, you could bundle these and do two for 40 they're going to bring that back. You can still get two for 40 and you can mix and match and get whatever two you want or you can get two of the same. They're also bringing a bundle for you guys too this year that you can get all five of these, all right, for $90, which makes these like $18, which is like a nice savings. It's like $6 in savings, I think. Um, or you can buy them singly as well. Um, and I'm not sure what the price is on those. I'm, I'm assuming probably 24. Um, so the more you buy, the better the deal. The only thing is, is on the five pack bundle, you get one of each one of these. You can't pick and choose what you get with that five pack. So, um, 
Anyway, let me know whether you're ready, you're willing, you're wanting to pick any of those up. Let me know, are you going to pick any of these up too? Or have you picked these up? The um, new open spaces ones. I keep calling it open spaces. Open planes. <laughs> open planes. Let me know, and let me know what you thought about those down in the notes too, because, um, yeah. And has any of you picked up a pumpkin roll or any of the, uh, the bricks that are in catalog? Um, so I'm going to jump off of here, guys. You have a wonderful day and thank you so much again. And I will see you next time. All right. Love you guys. Bye.